Fire is one of the basic elements of survival. It's a very important part of survival. Uh, in our modern world, we have fire going that we don't even realize, whether it's our power, whether it's our heat, whether oil, propane, gas. I mean, there's so many different ways that we produce fire, but we've lost the skill to make fire. So today we're gonna go from just your lighter or your matches to tinder. Now tinder is a very important part of fire making. And sometimes if you don't have the right materials, it's very difficult, if not impossible. So today we're gonna to take a look at three different ways you can take candle wax and items that you just throw away and make incredible fire starting tinder. And guys, again, it'll burn for a long time. It's very simple to do and it's super cheap. Now, while candle wax may be what you have, uh, it takes a little bit slower to produce these fire tenders. And so we're gonna be using some gulf wax and melt it down. Uh, but honestly, a candle lit, you can just pour this out to use it. And so it works effectively. But if you have a lot to do, uh, buying some gulf wax, which is in the canning department of most grocery stores, uh, just makes an excellent way to get a lot done. And guys, this is something that a lot of people have done in the past. Uh, taking an egg crate or egg carton, and this is one of the cardboard types. Uh, dryer lint, you can use sawdust, uh, and we have some wax. And I just have some gulf wax. You could use old candles for that matter. I mean, there's a lot of different wax products you can use. Uh, and then have a small little pot, and I would recommend getting one that you don't want to mess up. And then something to put inside there to melt the wax. And we're going to kind of do a double boiler uh, you can do it directly, but uh, this just it makes it easier and you can use this just for your wax. Now we've got tongs here. I think this may be for the other project I'm using, but just in case. And we will need to get this out of the hot water. First off, we're gonna run some water. Next, we're gonna turn this on and we'll probably turn it to about medium setting. Next, we'll take our pot. We're gonna put it in here. It wants to float. I think once we get the wax in there, it'll do pretty good. Now while that's heating, take our gulf wax uh, and you're going to want to break these pieces up somewhat. It'll make it faster and uh, maybe even with a hammer or something You because these, these are actually pretty tough. Here we're going to take a screwdriver and a hammer and just kind of break these up a little bit. Now this stuff a little tougher than I remember. Now we have our wax broken up. We're going to go ahead and put it in the inner pot. Again, whatever pot you use, uh, it's going to get that wax in there. It's probably something you don't want to reuse for food. And the smaller the pieces, the faster this will melt. Go ahead and set our pot in here and get it rolling. While that wax is melting, we'll go ahead and open up our egg crate. We're just going to take pieces of this dryer lint. And one of the things I love about dryer lint is it's, it just keeps coming. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, if you run out, you're gonna find more because obviously we wash and dry a lot of clothes. And you wanna get it packed in there pretty good. That's just gonna give you more material for your tender. It just pops down in there. Uh, got a little bit of dog hair from Felix the Pug. But that'll be all right because that'll burn too. But you wanna just get this as packed in as you can. Again, the more you have, the more material you're going to be able to use. And you want to make sure too that it's in each of the compartments because you don't want it to spill over when the wax is added. All right, now we're ready for the wax. You can see we're getting that wax melted. It's just right at the bottom and uh, it doesn't really take too long once this water starts boiling. But double boiling like this will keep that from burning and that's really what you want. Here I have a chopstick. I'm just going to move this around, that's gonna help it to melt quicker. Uh, again, if you put something in here that you're gonna use, it can really just get on there and make a mess. So use something disposable. Pot stickers are also good for this. Yeah, that's getting down there really good. Okay, everything's melted down, we got clear liquid. If you put candles in there, it'll be a different color, but just the wax is the main thing. Now we're gonna start pouring this. I would put something under it where I got started. And you just want to pour it into each of the, the different sections because one of the things about this is each piece is going to be a fire starter. 
And guys, honestly, the uh, dryer lint will burn on its own, but the wax is going to let it burn a lot longer. And then with that egg carton material, it's going to actually help. And really, we, both of those blocks, we took two blocks, so half the package is what we're using. Now we'll let that cool a little bit, and then we'll check it out. Guys, this is actually 12 separate fire starters in this. And each one we're going to tear off. You can see how it looks. And of course, once it dries, it'll just be solid. But um, it's kind of run in a little bit to the carton. But again, that's just going to make that even more flammable. So um, looking forward to seeing this. Next, we're going to take toilet paper rolls, dryer lint, and the wax. And we're going to go ahead and make some other fire starters. And guys, these are things that you just have around your house. So you just stuff in some dryer lint. And what I do is, is put some in first in each one. Uh, just about a third, maybe a little bit less. Now, pro tip is make sure you have some wax paper down. We're just gonna pour a little bit into each one. Then we're gonna stuff some more dryer lint down in here. Uh, you can actually do many layers like this. We're just gonna do the two layers. But don't be stingy with your dryer lint because you got plenty of it, most likely. <laughs> and the more dense it is, the longer it's gonna burn. And guys, these will burn for like 30 minutes. So it gives you a lot of fire starter. And honestly, it doesn't really cost you anything. Maybe the candle. All right, now we're going to pour the wax on top. This will soak down into the dryer lint as well. Now we're going to let these dry, and then we're going to turn them over, and we're going to put wax in the bottom. Then we're going to pour some wax in the top. You can also do this with candles. You can just take the candle and burn it and let it drip into it. But this gives it, makes it a lot faster. Here we go, we'll let them dry. Now taking standard candle wax, you can do the same thing. All we need to do is get this where it's just burning and it starts to melt that candle wax. This will just take longer. But that flame, as you turn it up, it'll burn that wax. So instead of going and buying the Gulf Wax to make it quicker, this is definitely one way to do it. And you can take old candles, but you just want to get plenty of wax all over. And now we've got this sealed up on the other end. Again, just takes longer, but it's still effective. Now once the wax is set and it's melted, you can actually put these in Ziploc bags and save these. Uh, you don't want water to get to them, even though the wax is going to help, but that way you can keep these pretty much watertight ready for camping, bug out, whatever, you need to make a fire. I mean, that's just a cheap way to do it. Next is something that a lot of women use, these cotton rounds, and they use them for you know, putting on makeup, cleaning up, doing things. Um, you'll typically find those, they're really inexpensive. Uh, you need some tongs, more golf wax, or again, candle wax. And so we're gonna make these into fire starters. Of course, we've already got our wax melted from the other two projects, so it's gonna be pretty straightforward. There's a number of different sizes of these. Uh, there's some larger ones, smaller ones, you name it. And so we're just gonna lay these out on this wax paper. And the wax paper, again, is your friend. So we're just gonna go ahead and lay them out. And one thing we're gonna do, we're gonna do this a little differently than the other two. Uh, with the uh, toilet paper rolls, and with the egg crate. We're gonna dip these. Looks like biscuits. <laughs> now we just turn this down. We're gonna take our little pads, put them in there, let them drip a second. It's gonna saturate those. This is really probably the easiest. Just dip them in, they'll get saturated. Shake them off. One thing I like about these two is they're easy to stock up and pack because they're so flat. Honestly, this is more like just a candle with the wick, and the wick is the pad. Now you can tell which one's got the wax. We used one bar of the uh, Gulf wax, and so there's four bars total. So this will give you an idea of how many that you can do. Of course, that's 16, 17, and we got every drop. So the, the ones that are not coated, you can see they're still fluffy, and these have that really gray color to them. Now we're gonna let them dry. Now once these are cool to the touch, uh, they're ready to go. I, I'll make sure that they're cool. Uh, they do stay warm for a good while. And then you just peel them off, 
and then you can just throw them in a Ziploc bag or some kind of container. And you want to make sure that's a watertight container. Uh, the bottom gets a little bit of texture just because you're putting it on the wax paper while it's still hot. So the top is pretty smooth. It's going to give us a lot of fire starters. Now we're going to start out with the carton. Uh, each of these is a fire starter and it's going to give you quite a bit. And so you can either tear this off, but we're going to cut it with a pair of scissors. You know, it is kind of tough with the wax. We might just get it started and we're just going to pull it off. Here we go. So we have one section right here. Just going to set it down. Now you've got your wax that's embedded. Wherever the wax is, is the accelerant. Just get it started. We're going to see how long it burns. Here we have the toilet paper roll with the lint and we have our wax on the top. And these you can break up, just like you could with the egg carton. And once this gets started, we're just going to let this burn. And we're going to see how long it burns. As you can see, man, it lights up really quick, and it'll just burn all the way through. There's a lot of material here to burn through. Now, when it comes to the uh, cotton pad, best thing to do is to break it up and really separate it. So you can make multiple fires with this. And you want to expose that cotton. That's going to really allow it to burn. So get it kind of feathered out a little bit. This one seems to take a little longer to burn, but once it gets started, it's going to do really well. And this is really small and easy to divide up. We have all three of them burning, and we're going to let them burn, and we're going to see how long each one takes, how long it does burn. But guys, this is going to give you a lot of time to get wood together and to really start a good fire. Now, the one that's burning the most would be the toilet paper roll. And it's bigger, obviously, uh, so it's really going strong uh, with the carton, egg carton. I mean, we're getting a really good flame. But even with that small cosmetic pad, that cotton pad, I mean, that's going to give you plenty of time. So guys, really, you could divide these up pretty easily to give you a lot. But you can see here the difference. All right, guys, here with the cosmetic pad, uh, you can see that, you know, it's burning out now, and it burned for a solid 10 minutes. That's plenty of time to get your fire going. The other two still going strong. All right, guys, looks like the uh, egg carton, it's ending. This has been going for about 15 minutes, and it just now went out. Honestly, there's a little bit of ember there, so you could continue but it's pretty much spent. That's one thing too is moving these around, you could probably get a little bit more out of it. But it's pretty much done. Toilet paper roll, still rocking on. All right guys, this smoldering a little bit. There's still a little bit of embers actually in here. This went for 25 minutes. So this is definitely the winner. And to be honest with you, you could probably light this again See if we could get a little bit more flame out of it. I think it's pretty much spent, but that's really impressive. Again, we still have embers, so if we needed to, we could actually light a fire that way. Guys, again, you can get that flame pretty quickly, but it goes out quickly. And so having fire tender is the best way to really get a fire started. And guys, the more time you have to get that wood going, the more success you're gonna have. And again, this is so cheap. It's just items that you have sitting around your house that you're going to throw away anyway. And why not put them to good use to be able to start fire? Because again, fire is elemental and it is essential for survival. And guys, you got to improvise to survive. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Fire's been used for... And so we grabbed some golf, uh, whatever this is. <laughs>